Adobe Connect sessions can be recorded and saved for playback later. As a host, to record your session, select Record Meeting from the Meeting menu. Give the recording a name or accept the default. You may also wish to add a description. Note that this description will not be visible to participants. A red dot appears in the upper right corner along with the notification that the session is being recorded. This will be visible to all attendees, however your notification will also include links to pause and stop recording. The notification disappears after a few seconds, however clicking on the red dot will open it again. If there are periods within the session that you do not wish to record, use pause recording and then when you wish to continue recording, click on resume recording. This results in one session recording that omits those periods of time while the recording was paused. When your session is done, select End Meeting from the Meeting menu to end the session and complete the recording. If you wish to have several recordings within one session, for example, Part 1 and Part 2 of a class, use the Stop Recording option. Then, to begin the subsequent recording, you will have to select Record Meeting again from the Meeting menu and give the new recording a name. This results in two separate recordings when you end the session. When the recordings are processed, they appear under the My Recordings tab for enrolled attendees. Recordings show exactly what attendees saw and heard during the live session. The presenter area is not recorded, nor are individual breakout rooms, but materials from breakout rooms are included in the recording if the host brings them into the main meeting room. Uploaded content, screen shares, whiteboards, public chat pods, links embedded in PowerPoint, PDF, and chat pods, downloads in the files pod, and URLs in the web links pod are all available in recordings. The following are not available. Markup tools, voting in polls, and logout URLs. If you want to direct all viewers to a specific URL, you could paste it into the chat pod before ending the recording. Also note that recordings cannot be played on the Adobe Connect mobile app. To give others access to the recorded session, you must first change the recording from private to public and then provide the URL. From the My Recordings tab, find the specific recording and then under Actions, click on the Info icon. On the Access line, click the Unlock icon to make the recording public. To add an optional passcode to the recording, click on the Edit Passcode icon and then enter a passcode between 4 and 12 characters in length. Click the Save Changes icon when you are done creating the passcode. Click the Copy Link to Clipboard icon to copy the URL for the recording to your clipboard and then you can paste it into an email to give guests access. If you are pre-recording a session and don't want participants to access it right away, you also have the option to hide it from their My Recordings. To learn how to edit recordings and to make them available offline in MP4 format, or to see additional Adobe Connect meeting resources, please visit the resource page at eclassesconnect.contactnorth.ca slash help. For technical assistance, call the Contact North Help Desk, Monday to Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. at 1-888-850-4628.